if you are heading into a strange country, um, there are so many resources available to learn about them in advance. Um, guaranteed that the picture of the thing that's going about to bite you and you're not sure about is going to look different than the one in the picture. Couple things. Um, if you're camping in, in any country, never ever put your hands where you cannot see. And that's, um, there are all kinds of things that live under rocks. Some of them are snakes. Uh, some of them are friendly. Some of them are not. Um, there are other things that live under rocks. Um, if you're in the desert, uh, you might even be so lucky as to find a Gila monster under the rock. Um, just, just don't put your hands where you can't see them. That's uh, very important. The other thing is, is being aware. And I've, uh, this is a place that I tend to fall down. I've been to awareness class and I'd like to say that I would have flunked if they were giving grades, but pay attention. Um, if you're walking the woods, okay, don't just look here. Don't look just to here, look up. And the reason for that is, is that snags, which are broken parts of trees that are just hanging there, are also called widow makers, and there's a reason for that. And if you sit in the big woods for any length of time, just sit down somewhere and listen, you'll hear a tree fall. Um, I've been close to big trees that have fallen when I was just walking in the woods, and you know, it is, um, it's an off-putting experience. But keep an eye on what's going on above you. Uh, we have a lot of problems right now. We have a, a lot of our oaks are dying because of what's called oak dieback disease, and that means there's a lot of big branches falling when, uh, when they least, we least expect them. If you're in the woods in high winds, first of all, don't be. But if you are, you have to be very vigilant about stuff falling. Um, pay attention to where you're going. I always keep a little compass, not this one. This is strictly an emergency compass, but a little compass around. So if I'm walking north, uh, my, my goal is to walk north. And I'm not going to be doing sighting. Uh, I've looked at the map. Um, uh, let's say that I start at a lake. If I'm going north from the lake, if the lake's wide enough, and within a day, if I walk south, I'm going to run back into the lake. And uh, you can figure that out. But always carry a compass and always keep an idea of roughly how, which, which direction you're going. If you look down at the compass and 10 times out of 11, it shows you going north, you're probably headed north.